and what was communicated to him throughout the entire process, you know, I told him from day one that if I had a guard position, I'd, you'd be the first guard that I would offer in this country um, because of the way that he played. And I think that was part of the reason why, obviously, Ty uh, came here. Um, but, you know, my job as the line coach is to play the five guys that are playing the best football. And uh, it's, not an, it's not an indictment on anybody else because Brian Wallace has been playing good football. Uh, uh, there, uh, Jake Rogers has been playing good football. Uh, Zach Rogers has been playing outstanding football. Um, but Ty, Ty Clary the last two weeks was – was playing even better football. And so that's, and to me, that's an added bonus. We, we continue to have depth, uh, guys that have started games that are, that are uh, in that two deep. And obviously, if you see that game, uh, when the twos went in there, they marched right down the field and scored and uh, graded out extremely well. Um, so, I, you know, it's not, it's not a uh, who's on scholarship or anything like that. Nobody is entitled to a starting spot. I've told uh, guys from day one that every day you're, you're fighting to earn a starting spot. No one's uh, going to be given anything. And so you got to battle for your spot on a daily basis. That's how you, that's how you strain. That's how you strive. Uh, and that's how you perfect your craft. That's how you get better. And uh, uh, I think we're very fortunate to have a guy like Ty Clary and his caliber. And, you know, his, he's got a lot of football ahead of him. Um, but uh, he's off to a, a great start. Is, is he surprised you? I mean, coming in with a starting job like that, you don't expect that from a true freshman. I wouldn't think. Um, no, I mean, I think uh, uh, surprised. Yeah, you know, because I think we had uh, we had uh, great depth. We had guys that had experience. Uh, I knew he was a heck of a player, and uh, but until you get your hands on him and you're working with him in the in the meeting rooms and the in the classroom and on the field. Uh, you, you, you kind of uh, your eyes open up to uh, a work ethic, uh, the type of strain that he plays with, the athleticism that he has, and so uh, you know when his opportunity to get in there and win uh, the second scrimmage with with the twos, and all of a sudden he went out there against our one defense and and uh, was physical and assignment sound and finishing and and was great in protection and and uh, as the next two weeks progressed he was able to put himself in a position where uh, uh, in my opinion it was clear that that uh, he was the starting uh, guard was, was that development his so, coming on so quick kind of would allow you guys to move beyond yeah I mean uh, definitely you, uh, you're talking about Dion Malone yeah. You, yeah you know um, and and I think it's also a uh, uh, an opportunity for a guy like Dion Malone. He's got great hands. Um, he's powerful. Um, but when you have two years left to play, um, you know, you get an opportunity to move over to the other side of the ball and, and provide depth on that side and maybe uh, have a, more of an a immediate impact in the, in the next uh, uh, couple of years. So, yeah, I would think that that is, is definitely uh, part of the deciding factor there. What have you seen from TCU's front? Uh, you know, Coach has been uh, running that defense there since, you know, 96, 97, or 98, or whenever it was. And I mean, he's been doing it for a long time. Um, you know, one thing about TCU's defense, it's almost like uh, I think they've got. Uh, a definite plan in terms of their recruiting um, because it's almost like they're plug and play guys. You know, uh, guy, a guy graduates and there's a guy that has the same body build, the same you know, same uh, uh, motor, um, and they teach the techniques. They're very, very well taught. They understand the scheme. Uh, you could tell that they're smart football players because they're communicating on the defensive line, they're communicating to linebackers, linebackers are communicating to DBs. Uh, they're very uh, well in tune with what what techniques they're supposed to play. Um, they're very fast, um, quick defensive line. Um, they, they they do a really nice job with movement, um, and uh, you know you see them against uh, uh, teams that uh, uh, run the football and and they know how to uh, anchor down and and not just use their speed, but they got some power too, and so. Uh, I think they got a, a, a really good front. How, how did I play the other night?